Hey, welcome back, guys. Today we're going to smoke up some short ribs on my pellet grill. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so I got my short ribs here. Like, again, these are uh, short ribs that were cut off the bone. So they're basically used for braising. Like I had told you before in a previous video, which can be seen uh, at the i-card up above. These were, I ordered a case of short ribs and they were this style. I just went on and kept them. I made the uh, braised short ribs and today I'm just gonna smoke these up. I might turn these into like short rib burn-ins or I may leave them whole and then slice them. We'll see, but what I'm going to be seasoning them with today, we're gonna try out a couple new seasonings that I got at Walmart. One of them is this uh, Pit Boss Lone Star brisket rub. Then the other one is uh, called Holy Garlic, and it's made by Fire Smoke uh, Society. Not to be confused with me, Fire Smoke, but this is an all-purpose uh, garlic blend, and we're gonna try this. So I'm gonna season three of them with the uh, Holy Garlic, and then three of them with the Lone Star seasoning, and then we'll pick back up. So let me get these seasoned up real well, and then I'll bring you guys back in just a moment. All right, guys, so I've got my short ribs all seasoned up. I'm just gonna let them sit here and then sweat for a little bit while I get, we're gonna use my uh, pellet grill today. It's about 10 degrees outside, so I just wanna kinda set it and forget it today. And uh, so I'm just gonna let these sweat. You can see that this particular, the uh, holy garlic, one seasoned all over, that's what you wanna do. But the holy garlic, you can see has that dark uh, hue to it. The ingredients, it says it has garlic, charcoal, or activated charcoal, pure ground chili, salt, black pepper, and brown sugar. So I'm really, really excited and interested to see what this particular seasoning is going to taste like. And then this is basically, you know, what your general uh, barbecue seasoning or what you're normally used to uh, looks like. This one has salt, garlic, paprika, brown sugar and pepper so i'm excited to see what both of them taste like but in particularly this one so i'm just going to sit here and let these sweat for a little bit get my uh grill up to temp or smoker up to temp then uh i'll bring you guys back when we put them on so see you in a minute. all right guys we're back out the smoker you can see i have uh the ribs on the upper rack uh seems like I get better smoke penetration when I put them on the top rack as opposed to the bottom and I have it set at 275 degrees so we're just gonna let them go and do their thing also I'm using Kingsford wood pellets today it's got a hickory cherry and oak blend I love the Kingsford brand pellets and you can see I also have a blanket covering up the smoker to kind of help maintain that temperature all right guys so we're back out at the smoker I've had them on here for about two hours now and uh, everything has gone great. We have not worried about coming out and spritzing. We're just letting them go. On the left hand side, these are the ones that have the uh, pit boss seasoning. And on the right is the one we had the holy garlic. They both look amazing. They smell great. And we're just going to continue to let them go until they reach the color that I want. All right, guys. So now we've had them on about three and a half hours. Now we're going to go ahead on and pull them off and we're going to take them in the house and we're going to wrap them and just allow them to get tender. They've got the color on them that I'm looking for, the uh, mark that I'm looking for. You can see how pretty they are. But like I said, now we just want to go wrap them uh, and just go ahead and start working on getting them tender. I don't know if you can notice or not, but I did rotate the uh, ribs from one side to the other. Uh, that way they can kind of get equal amount of heat and smoke. So the uh, holy garlic were on the left at this point and the others were on the right. All right, guys, now we're back in the house. We're just going to go ahead on and get these ribs wrapped up. I'm just going to uh, double foil them, put them in the uh, foil, wrap them tightly, and we're going to put them back on the grill. Look at that color and that bark we got. That's exactly what we're looking for. I am not going to add any liquid or anything to this foil. Uh, these were marbled really, really well. And there's still enough fat in there to render out and provide the amount of uh, moisture that I need. So I'm going to do, we're not going to add any more seasoning or anything to them. We're just going to go wrap them tightly. And then we're going to put these puppies right back on the grill. 
All right, guys, so I'm just finishing up the last of the uh, other short ribs. We're going to get them wrapped, and we're just going to take them right back out there and put them on the smoker. We're just going to uh, smoke them until they become toothpick tender. Uh, so if you have a toothpick, you just want to put a toothpick in or a probe, and when they become probe tender, then they're ready to be pulled off. All right, guys, now we have our meat off the smoker. I pulled them off probably 45 minutes to an hour ago, and I've just let, been letting them sit here and rest for the uh, for that amount of time. So go, to, go ahead and open them up and give these bad boys a taste. Like I said, we seasoned some of them up with the Pit Boss uh, Lone Star Brisket Rub and then the other one with the uh, Fire and Smoke Society Holy Garlic, uh, all-purpose garlic blend. So I'm excited to see how they taste. All right, now this is the one that had the, uh, the Pit Boss Rub on it. And this is the one with the uh, holy garlic. If you remember, we did no spritzing, added no liquid to these at all, just straight cooked. Uh, had them started them off at 275 and then bumped it down to 250. Like I said, it was 10 degrees out. So I wanted to keep them at a, have a, a, the uh, grill at a higher temp just to make sure they maintain heat uh, and temperature on the inside. So let's go ahead and give these bad boys a taste. Let's start off with the, uh, the Pit Boss first. Take a good look at that. Cuts like butter. Get a good look at that. Nice and moist. Got a little bit of a smoke ring going on here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get a nice little bite and see what it's tasting like. That's good. That's that one. It's really good. Has just the right amount of uh, salt um, to it. So it's not overly salty, seasoned well, nice savory flavor. I would wish that it had a little bit more pepper in it. So if you guys do decide to buy this particular one, just add a little more pepper to it. Uh, and I think it'll be uh, a home run, but it tastes really good. It's not very, it's not expensive. And uh, like I said, it has a really good flavor. So I, I really like that. I just wish it would have had a little bit more pepper on the inside of it. But other than that, uh, I, think, I think it's very good. And again, these short ribs are just super tender. Just look at that, just falling apart. So that's exactly what you want. Cooked up very well, tender, juicy. Now let's go ahead on and give this the holy garlic one a run. A, a run. It's trying to fall apart already. Bless that rub there. Again, let's just go down the center. Good look at that. Again, nice and moist. Super tender. Smells fantastic, guys. Again, a little subtle smoke ring on there. That's really good, too. Mmm. You could definitely taste the garlic in it. The chilies, it says it has pure ground chilies. You don't taste them as much, but it is really good. It would be nice, again, with this one to have a little bit more of a kick. But flavor profile-wise, very, very, very good. And again, not very expensive. Again, bought both of these at Walmart. So I am very, very uh, happy with the purchase of these two. They taste fantastic. The meat came out great. And it just tastes really, really good. So if you guys are in, the, in Walmart or whatever, you just happen to walk by their barbecue aisle or their seasoning aisle and you see these, I recommend you give them a try. My, me personally, I would just add a little bit more pepper. 
or cayenne to each one of them, but they stand, they stand alone pretty well on their own. So uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Brandon with Ted's Fine Smoke Cooking. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll uh, see you guys around. God bless. That's good.